Hello everyone, I'll be talking about our work fine-tune like you pre-train, improving fine-tuning of zero-shot vision models. This is a work with my collaborators Ananya Kumar, Sankalp Gurg, Viko Coulter and Aditi Raghunath. In this work, we consider fine-tuning of image language models like CLIP. Specifically, it has been shown in some previous works that standard fine-tuning using cross entropy loss hurts the distributional robustness of CLIP. In our work, we'll show that simply modifying this fine-tuning procedure by using the same loss as PD training can mitigate this issue. Specifically, given the downstream labels, we first cast them as text prompts and continue optimizing the pre-training contrastive loss. And this very simple approach gives state-of-the-art accuracies on ImageNet, Wilds, and many other uh, tasks. Let's understand the work in detail. First, we'll look at uh, the contrastive pre-training of CLIP. CLIP is trained by using a web corpus of image caption datasets. Specifically, given images and the corresponding captions, you obtain their image embeddings and similarly the text embeddings and optimize the contrastive loss. That is, you try to maximize the cosine similarity of the image with its corresponding text embedding and try to minimize the cosine similarity with all the other text embeddings. Now, this form of training of CLIP allows you to do something called a zero-shot prediction. That is, at the inference time, given an image, you can simply predict its class by, uh, by using the class names and giving the output as a class, which has the maximum similarity with the image embedding. And this zero-shot performance indeed performs quite well. For example, on ImageNet, it gives 68% accuracy without seeing any single training sample. But in practice, one would probably further want to fine-tune it uh, to further have higher accuracies. And the way this fine-tuning is done is by using the standard cross-entropy loss. We take the image and encoder of clip add a linear head and optimize the cross entropy loss on the labeled training data set. And this indeed gives state of the art accuracies. For example, on ImageNet, the ID accuracy improves from 68 to 81%. In fact, when using a larger clip model, it gives the current state of the art on ImageNet of 91%. So what's the issue? Note that there is a mismatch between the pre-training and the fine-tuning objective. We pre-trained using a contrastive loss and then we are fine-tuning using the cross-entropy loss. Now this results in a drop in the OD accuracy. For example, here the zero-shot accuracy was 58% and the fine-tuning accuracy was 54%. We propose a very simple fix to this to mitigate this drop in the OD accuracy. Fine-tune like you pre-trained. Specifically, given the downstream labeled data set, we continue optimizing the same loss as pre-training, that is the contrastive loss. We first cast these labels into text prompts. For example, uh, for plane, bird, and car, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make these prompts of a photo of a plane, a photo of a bird, a photo of a car. And we continue optimizing the contrastive loss with the corresponding labeled images. And this very simple fix to the training procedure works well, outperforms the baselines across a wide range of tasks. Let's first look at ImageNet. The, and let's first look at these fancy curves. Uh, the brown diamond here uh, represents the zero shot accuracy. Basically these curves are the IDO the frontier curves. These squares here uh, represent the fine tuned accuracies and these, uh, Curves represent the accuracies when the zero shot and the fine tune weights are linearly interpolated. The orange curve here shows the IDOD frontier curve obtained using our proposed approach frame. Note that this frontier curve lies above and to the right of the frontier curves obtained using all the baselines. What this implies is that for any given ID accuracy, flip gives a higher OD accuracy. Similarly, uh, we test our approach on Wilds iWild Cam dataset and we get the highest ever uh, reported accuracy. Flip outperforms even computationally uh, expensive approaches of model soups, which ensemble more than 70 
uh, fine-tuned models which are fine-tuned using various accuracies. In the uh, paper, we do further comparisons on many few short learning benchmarks, standard transfer learning benchmarks, and show that our approach outperforms uh, current state-of-the-art like LPFT or standard linear probing and fine-tuning both in distribution as well as out of distribution. Now, let's try to understand why fine-tuning uh, the same way as pre-training works. First, note that uh, in FLIP, we fine-tune both the encoders, whereas recall that in the standard fine-tuning procedure uh, using the cross-entropy loss, we just fine-tune the image encoder of CLIP. So the first question which we ask are is that are the gains simply due to fine-tuning both the encoders? For this, we perform an ablation where we fine-tune both the encoders using the cross-entropy loss. That is, given these text embeddings from the different classes, we construct a linear head to, pro uh, to project the image embeddings to the uh, output, output classification space. However, uh, fine-tuning both the encoders using cross-entropy loss performs worse than fine-tuning uh, both the encoders using uh, contrastive loss as proposed in this work. Similarly, we also uh, explore what if you uh, optimize just the image encoder using um, the contrastive loss. However, that also performs suboptimally. This highlights that fine-tuning exactly the way you pre-train is important. Finally, uh, note that we are using contrastive loss for fine-tuning. And there can be multiple samples from the same class in the mini batch. And given the use of contrastive loss, this can be suboptimal. Why? Because contrastive loss would try to uh, separate the embeddings for all the samples. And this can be hurtful if two samples are from the same class. In, in the ablation, we tried for uh, accounting for such collisions by masking these samples or ensuring that the batch is formed in a specific way. However, we observed that this hurts the accuracy. This again highlights that fine-tuning exactly the way you pre is the reason for uh, good performance of our proposed approach. In summary, uh, we need to carefully think about fine-tuning procedures for the pre-trained foundation models. Uh, in this work, we showed that a very simple change to the fine-tuning procedure of CLIP can greatly improve the robustness of the fine-tuned models. And in general, we would want uh, the community to explore similar uh, ideas for various other settings. Thank you, everyone.